Thank you for joining me for an impromptu copy with the editor here at yeah, Edge Half Year Results. Yeah. Um, good results, strong positioning coming out of COVID and you know or post COVID recovery. Um, you're feeling positive, obviously. So yeah, we are pleased with the numbers, and I'm pleased with the team that has made it uh, happen. And you recall uh, we've had some few challenges, as I've mentioned earlier in my presentation. We had the uh, a cyclone in Maputo, but we still delivered healthy volumes. Uh, GML delivered 38 percent growth, Madola 10 percent growth. Uh, the main port uh, delivered record volume, 30 percent growth. So we're really excited. The positive uh, outlook is encouraging. So I'm, I'm happy. And then let's get down to the things that we're really all interested in Indeed. here. Yeah. Rail. So great volumes. You're doing a uh, stuff with Eswatini. Mm. I think just put it all together for me in terms of the rail business and and some of the projects you've embarked on. So maybe let me start with the projects that are really uh, helping us to unlock the volumes. So you, you'll appreciate the challenge we've got currently at the border in Komati and the trucks get stuck there. So we came up with an alternative solution uh, where we same trucks are diverted through to Eswatini. Uh, also we worked it out that it's not as a uh, um, hectic as Komati, and uh, we set up a siding, and we out of that we move on to our terminal, uh, GML and TCM. Um, the exciting part about it, initially when we started, we were relying on the uh, rail allocation by Eswat in the rail. Unfortunately, they still have to build up their own capacity on that, and there was a gap. Mm. And then the collaboration between Eswat in the rail and CFM, uh, encouraged by us in terms of the volume that you bring on the table enable the seamless flow of trains uh, into each other's networks. So as, as I speak to you today, we get CFM collecting current from Eswatini back to our uh, terminal and vice versa. Eswatini rail can get it to uh, CFM's network. So that arrangement seems to have worked very well. Um, if I recall the numbers, we've moved about 1.6 million tons since the inception yeah. of this, and the numbers are increasing. In fact, the team is targeting to be doing 150,000 tons uh, per month. The only constraint at the moment is the rolling stock, particularly locomotives. Mm. So what we're doing with uh, Sotin and Rail is we're injecting additional locomotives as grid rod to okay. be dedicated on this corridor. And if that works, there's a potential to bring in more locomotives. So we're very excited about that. And then outside of Swatini, uh, we're also encouraged by uh, the collaboration between CFM and Transnet in terms of which they're looking to optimize the flow of cargo directly into our terminal, either from command, or either from a, a steel port from Trump and from or Palabora from Magnetite and coal from the bank. And we believe that project, if it's successful, not only does it assist in the efficiency of the uh, of the running of the rail mm -hmm. uh, to densify the line, but also what it does is it, it, it talks to the strategy of moving cargo from road to rail. Uh, but also from ESG perspective, you're getting more tonnage moved uh, on a single trip. And for me, it's a it's an obvious project, and I'm very pleased that Transnet uh, are really spearheading this uh, with CFM, and uh, we can only uh, see hopefully a positive right. outcome out of that. And of course, on the north of the border, mm -hmm. we are working uh, with our PBR, as you know, we're the owner of the North South Concession, and we've got six locomotives running there. The engagement with the Zambians have. Um, resulted in us being able to work together and we take some of the capacity in our BBR and we inject them in uh, in working with Z uh, Zambia Rail and uh, we run on the line. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to increase the fleet and uh, we're hoping that you can deploy about additional four locomotives into 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 that business. Is there enough volume? Absolutely. There is. Interesting enough is a volume northbound from Wangi all the way to, uh, to DRC. So I'm okay. quite pleased with that development that's, that's currently coming through. And um, also f uh, through our joint venture in Railco, we're deploying uh, the additional locomotives, I think it's about four locomotives, if I'm not mistaken, that will run through our custom iron pilot on the, on the Tazaro line. So that's another development that has come through. We've also run the business in the Northern Cape uh, for a particular customer to run the shunting operation in the Ayato manganese. So it seems the opportunities are coming up uh, nicely, but for me, the exciting part is the openness of rail authorities to the private sector. 
and come up with a, a solution that works for both parties. And we, we actually also are very excited about Zimbabwe. And um, we think that with this refreshed relationship with NRZ, there's more to come there.